hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is adeze if you're new to this channel and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back anyway this one i'm using vex to tell this story <laughs> you guys i was actually getting ready to film another video i was just doing my makeup i think just a simple makeup to film another video so when i was doing my eyebrows i now remember this story Chai! Maybe that's why the eyebrows refuse to cooperate again, okay? And in fact, the whole makeup just went south afterwards, but whatever, okay? <laughs> we'll still film like that. So, you guys, I want to tell you guys the story of how I was set up in primary school. Primary school, let that sink in. I was in primary school, I think I was in primary three or so. I think I was seven or eight. I can't remember how old I was, but you guys, I was in primary school when this thing happened to me. You know, I don't even know why this kind of thing happened to me. Maybe God knew that someday this girl is going to be a youtuber so let me allow things like this happen to her so that she will have enough story time videos because <laughs> i have a lot of stories to tell in this my life like i have a lot of stories to tell in this you know in a few years i've been on earth anyway get your cup of coffee get your popcorn get your drinks if you'd like to know the story of how i was set up in primary school then just keep on watching So, uh, one day after school, because when we were in primary school, I actually schooled in Abuja for anybody who doesn't know. I schooled in Abuja, my primary school, and I went to Handmaid's International Nursery and Primary School. I think they said they've changed the name or something, I can't remember. But I went to Handmaid's International Nursery and Primary School. So if you went to the primary school with me, please leave a comment down below. Let me know those who are repping, you know, Handmaid's, okay? After school, we had a driver, Uncle Matthews. I still remember him till tomorrow. He's like my best. Yeah, he was our best driver at that time or best you know um non relative relative okay non i don't know but we shall love uncle matthew so much there so yeah uncle matthew used to come to pick us after school okay he was the driver so that day i think after school he didn't come early for some reason sometimes he doesn't come early either maybe he did something with my father or he had somewhere else to go before he would come back and pick us from school so yeah he came late to pick us from school that day so how they do it then was if your parents don't come early to pick you you sit by the gate there was a place towards the gate area where pupils will wait you know for parents to come and pick them so i was just waiting there me and my younger sister and my elder brother, I think my elder brother was playing football or something, I can't remember, but yeah, it was me, my younger son, and my elder brother that we are, you know, waiting for Uncle, Ma Uncle Matthew. So while we were waiting there, we were playing with flowers, I remember vividly, me and my sister were playing with flowers. Then one girl that I knew she was in my class, but not someone I used to talk to, like, you know when you just have a classmate that, yes, you guys know each other, but we're not really close, we weren't really, you know, just that much. I didn't really have any, you know, prior personal contact with her you know that was meaningful to me anyway because maybe i had but i can't remember so it means that it wasn't meaningful to me so i was there by the flower and then she came she said ah Ada, what are you doing adese uh, adese what are you doing i said i'm playing with i was just playing waiting for uncle Matthew to come and pick us and i said okay that she whether she's waiting for her elder brother i can't remember the story but i know she someone was waiting she was waiting for someone to come and pick her too from school that was how this girl now asked me that hmm do you know oscar i remember this name very well <laughs> oscar do you know oscar i said yeah i know oscar to be honest i can't really remember if i knew him very well but i know i know the name i knew that he was not in my class in particular but it was another class but he was in my you know set so that's we are classmates but not the same class okay so do i know oscar i said yes i know oscar she now said hmm do you know that oscar is jennifer's cousin I said, eh, hey, I, I know who Jennifer is to. She was one of those girls in school that everybody knew, kind of. All those, you know, flashy girls in primary school. Primary school, though. <laughs> I don't know Jennifer. I said, yeah, I know Jennifer. She said, Oscar is Jennifer's cousin. I said, okay. She now said, hmm, do you know that Oscar and Jennifer went to the toilet and we are looking at their bonbon? You guys, just be hearing this story oh, that Oscar, Oscar and Jennifer went to the toilet and they looking at each other's bonbon. I said, okay, you guys, at that age, this was not something that I was used to hearing and it just came so out of nowhere, like, <laughs> it was just out of nowhere, it wasn't like me and her, we were having a conversation that led to that, it was so out of nowhere, I remember even as a child, I remember thinking, what kind of gist is this, that they're looking at each other's bomb bomb, that this person and that person and boyfriend and girlfriend, I don't remember every other person's story that she told me, but I remember this particular people's story because 
<laughs> it got real, man. So it's not a beautiful story that this person, that person, their boyfriend and girlfriend, that this person likes that person, that person likes this. She was just talking rubbish, like total rubbish for a child of that age, okay? I was just like, hmm, really, really. I was even moving away from her. I remember clearly, I remember I was trying to look for, you know these flowers that have small seeds that get ripe? I've got some of the colder flower. It comes, I don't know, anyway. So I was looking for the ripe seeds. You can wish to lick it there. So I was walking around the flower. She was pulling me up and down, telling me all this jizz I can't even remember now. Telling me all this jizz. I said, eh, okay, okay. Mm. What do you mean? I know I was just young. I didn't know anything. So, as we are there now, okay, yeah. So she now talks, you know, a lot of rubbish as she finished talking. And then while she was still talking, Uncle Matthew came. So I now told her that see you, my uncle has come to pick us. Yeah, bye bye, bye bye. You know. So that was how I left her and went home. Me, my sister, and my brother. We went home. So you guys, the next morning, I hope you're getting my timeline. Okay. So the day before, after school, when most people had gone home, it was just me and Edith, my younger sister, who was playing with sound or whatever. My other brother who was playing football, we were the only ones that were in school there. I think there were other children, but I don't know. I didn't really talk with them or anything, but I just remember the four of us, you know, being in school then. So, and I went home straight, okay? Now, the next morning, after, immediately after assembly, while still on, I think we had just walked into, marched into our classrooms or something, immediately after assembling, Jennifer, Edith, and um, I think like five other girls or something, but there were a lot of people that came at once. Jennifer, Edith, and some other girls came to my classroom, to where I was, and said, Adeze, we want to see you outside. I said, okay. So I followed them, and we went outside to the, um, to the assembly ground, okay? I remember this part clearly, too. We went to assembly ground. Um, so Jennifer now said, uh, was it Jennifer? No, what's her name, Jennifer? I think Jennifer and one other girl, this other girl was not, no, it's not Jennifer. Jennifer's friend, one other girl too that was, you know, one of the big girls in school then, big alpha, even in size, okay? So I remember her being bigger than me, okay? She now came to meet me, the girl herself, the bigger girl that came to meet me that, what did you say yesterday about Jennifer? I said, I don't understand. What did I say about Jennifer? She now said, it did said that you told her that Jennifer and Oscar used to go to the toilet to look at each other's bum bum. You told her that this person, that person had date her, her boyfriend and girlfriend. You told her that this person likes that person. You said that me, that me, I like this guy. I can't remember how she, how, I can't remember that whole just because my head was spinning where I was. No way, just like, this is a joke, is this a prank? I put joking, like, because Edith was standing right, was standing with them there. So I was like, is Edith trying to joke with me or something? Like, what's, what's going on here? So I remember telling them that, yes, Edith told me all these things yesterday. Me, I didn't know about it though. Yes, it's what Edith told me. Edith then said, keep quiet. It's what you told me. After school yesterday, you came to tell me I was like, this, that, this, that, this, that. You guys, <laughs> as I'm saying this thing, I'm getting angry. I tell you thought that I've gotten over this thing, but I'm saying this thing, I'm getting angry because whenever people accuse me wrongly, whenever, you know, I'm under pressure like that, I start crying. I don't, I don't even start, I don't even know how to talk. You know, I'm not able to articulate myself very well. I'm not even able to defend myself very well, okay? It's just hot tears that comes out and I'm just praying to God to help me because in that time I have so many things to say, but hot tears will just come out. And I said, what do you mean? What are you saying? They said, keep quiet. You know how when girls just surround you, hey, hey. Yes. You guys, if it only ended at this accusation, maybe, maybe, I would have just been normal. Maybe that's why up to today, I don't fall for that, you know, trend or whatever. When people try to make you look as if women are the victim and men are the oppressors, I don't fall for it because women and men are both capable of being victims and oppressors, okay? Miss me without bullshit or when a woman says anything, we should just take her word for it. I'm not saying that there are no men who perpetrate evil, but I'm just saying men and women are equally capable of immense evil, okay? Imagine a, a child of eight, nine years old doing this to me, okay? So, <laughs> anyway, the reason is that men and women are equally evil, okay? From birth, the heart of man is desperately wicked. The heart of man and woman is desperately wicked. Anyway, so, if it had stopped at Edith's accusation, maybe, maybe I, wouldn't, I won't be feeling this way today. Maybe I would have gotten over it. You guys, three people came out and said, yes, this is what Adeze told us. I guess what I'm trying to say. Three other girls came and said, yes, 
Yesterday, Adeze told us that Oscar and this, this one and that. I was just like, is this a. You guys, even up to today, up to today, I wish I can rewind time and then confront all of them one by one. So if you are watching this video, because this is a very small world, I'm sure one of you is watching this video, somebody somewhere knows the truth. If you are watching this video and you're one of those girls, turn down with fire. <laughs> I will not fire you, Shah, because to be honest, I'm, I'm trying to forgive. In fact, I think I've forgiven everybody. I don't even know these girls again. I don't even know that face. Even the Edith, the Jennifer, the Oscar, all of them. I, if I see them today, I would not know. Okay. Yeah, so the reason why I'm feeling this way is because, of, is because I'm telling the story and reliving the incidents again. Okay. I just hope wherever you guys are, you guys have changed. I hope you guys have repented. If you're not repenting for your sin, if you've forgotten your sin, I mean, this is me reminding you so that if I'm going to pray against it, go and pray about it, okay? And thank God to forgive you, okay? I really, I truly hope all of you that were involved have changed because if you still kept up with that um, character, I fear for those people that are in your lives right now, okay? So anyway, three other girls came and said, yes, that's what you told us. That's what you told us. I was like, my head was just doing... I said, what do you guys mean? That um, Jennifer's, I think her name was Rezi or something. Her name starts with R. I think her, not Rezi. Her name starts with R. Or Rachel or Rebecca. Can't remember, but I know that the girl's name starts with R. I remember her clearly because I liked her when I was in school, even though we're not crazy. I mean, just people, I just like them. I remember liking her when I was in school. I remember following her and some of her friends. We used to go af after school to go and buy ice cream together. So, I can't remember her name, but I know that she was one that I liked as a friend. So her accusation was even paining me more than every other person there. Okay, you know, although she wasn't, she wasn't one of my direct accusers, but she was confronting me because I, um, I had said something about her too. Okay, so you guys, it's not telling me. Um, that's what you said. All the girls were like, yes, you said it to all. You told us yesterday. My head was just like, and I said, I didn't say it, I didn't say it, I was crying, I didn't say anything. It was Edith that came to meet me. He said, why are you accusing Edith? Why are you accusing her? Hmm. You guys, next thing, you know, that lady that was telling me about the bigger girl, now said, you know what, let's take her to the headmistress. And remember the headmistress then, one very strict woman like this, she was a, a nun. The school is owned by the Catholics, okay? So she was a nun too. I remember her, I think her name was Sister. I can't remember her name, but I know it's Sister something, they used to call her. And she was a nun. So that we should go and report that they're going to go and report me to the headmistress. And I said I didn't say anything. I said I go to I should not even talk. I go to report me. I said drag him. Now let's go. Let's go. I said okay, let's go. And to, to to be honest, I said let's go. That maybe I'm an adult when she hears this story, we'll know that okay, something is fishy here. I said let's go. Okay, no Wahala, let's go. But I was scared. I said hey, what if she believes them? What if they flog me? What if they expel me? What if they what if? I was just saying what if what if. So that was how they matched me. Everybody was not fooling. I remember many people following me then. They matched me like a thief, or oh, like a thief. How? Oh! I, I, I suffered this life. They now matched me to the headmistress office. She now came out and said, eh, What are all of you doing here? What's going on here? Um, that lady again, the, the lady that has with, let me just call her Rebecca. So Rebecca now came out and said, um, She's very sharp. You know, some sharp talkers, even while in primary school, people that they're always in front. So Rebecca now stepped out, okay. She now stepped out and said, Yes, that yesterday at this is said Oscar was in the toilet. Um, it wasn't even just showing each other that Oscar was touching another person's bum bum. Yeah, that was the story then. That Oscar was touching somebody else's bum. I don't even know who this Oscar was, but I think maybe Oscar was one of those, you know, boys that girls had a crush on in primary school. I don't, I got because to be honest, me, I, I, I wasn't a, I wasn't into boys or crushes, even even in, in uh, secondary school. I wasn't even into boys or crush or this. I was a very, very late um, bloomer when it comes to that one, okay? I was very, very late with that one. Even though I was physically big and mature, mentally, that one was, that, that, that's not what was doing me at that age, okay? So I didn't really get the concept of why is it, why Oscar this, Oscar that, anyway. Oscar showed this one, and this person and that person likes <laughs> trust. I, I'm sure now looking back, I'm sure the headmistress was like, this, this student must be mad. She now, she didn't even allow the Rebecca to finish. She said, will you all get out of my presence? Will you all go to your class? What kind of rubbish talk is that? Will you get out, all of you, out? Do that again, but, but is it, I say, out of here. Go to your classes right now or I'll flog all of you. <laughs> you guys, that was how I was just turned and hallelujah. All of us ran back to our classrooms, okay? You know, so that's how we ran back to our classrooms. 
I remember feeling bad all day. You know, everyone was looking at me like, hmm. Like when I passed, I could feel people looking at me like, hmm. Look at that girl that went to go and say this one. I was just like, what is what the hell, man? What the hell? Anyway, so after school, I told you guys that after school, we used to go and buy ice cream from a particular place. It was yogurt. We used to buy this yogurt, um, like super yogurt, but not something cheaper than it was. One woman used to make it in her house, I remember clearly. But the yogurt was very, very sweet. So we used to go there after school to go and buy it. So after school, I remember following um, that Rebecca with three other friends, people that I usually, used, I usually used to follow them, you know, so I followed them, we went there to buy the ice cream, but even as I was following them, they were more like walking together while I was just at the back, I don't know why, I'm, well, of course I know why, but they were in front, I was at the back, you know, we all went there, they bought their ice cream, you know, as we were coming back, they were still in front, I was at the back, so I was not trying to catch up with them, I remember this one clearly, Rebecca turned to me and said, why are you following us? I was not like, this is something that we do almost every day. Why is she asking me why I'm following her? She said, why are you following us? And I said, I wanted to buy ice cream too. She now said, I don't know why I'm not feeling bad now. Like, I'm feeling bad for my younger self. <laughs> okay. She now said, stop following us, okay? You are such a betrayer. <laughs> you guys, why she called me a betrayer? She was like, oh my God. <laughs> now, the funny part is that, I didn't know the meaning of betrayer and I sure know that she too did not know the meaning of betrayer because it didn't even apply in that case. Betrayer, who did I betray? Like, oh, <laughs> if anything, it was me that was betrayed or something. In fact, I wasn't even betrayed. I don't even know. I was set up basically, okay? You know, so she just turned and called me, you are such a betrayer. She now, her friends now look now, they now walked away. You know, real life mean girls situation, okay? They now walked away. Me, I just stood there with my ice cream. The ice cream side tasting like you know sour milk. <laughs> it was no more yogurt. It was now sour milk in my mouth. I was just there standing, I was just looking, and I started feeling bad. I was not like, ah, that what you what that maybe if I try and explain to them, they will understand. I was not like, wait, wait, I don't like to explain to them that see, I did not say it. They just walked away. So guys, that was the end though. I can't even remember what happened afterwards. I can't remember how. Yeah, I know that I was withdrawn throughout that um, primary three. Um, primary, I didn't do primary 4 because I went from primary 3 to primary 5 so while I was in primary 5 I made new friends okay I didn't even make that many friends I think I made only just just me and one other girl that you know became friends me and one other girl like that one quiet girl too that was in class it was just me and her that were really friends in, in school primary 5 primary 6 uh, she used to write and draw as well she used to write storybooks and draw as well and I used to do that too in primary school so that was in fact I think she started doing it before me I used to, she used to, yeah, I used to write storybooks, but I wasn't drawing. She, she used to draw. So I remember then I used to try to draw like her. I didn't know that this girl was busy copying, tracing, drawing from a storybook she had. It was later on that I figured it out. She used to trace drawing from a storybook that she had me. And I'd be like, teach me how to draw. She would tell me, please, that she can't teach me. She doesn't know how to teach me. So that was how I always tried. And funny enough, I even know how to draw very well. Even now, I still know how to draw very well, okay? So, yeah. Um, that was it. That was how me and that girl became friends. I think we even went to the same secondary school. You guys imagine, I left Abuja, went to Lagos, as in went back to Lagos for secondary school. She ended up being in my school in secondary school. I think she was in, um, she was a level ahead of me or below me or somewhere. I not in the same class. I think she was one level ahead of me or so. She joined the school in, in, um, JS2. So, while I was in JS1, she joined the school in JS2. So, you know, she knows something wanted to like, Adesi, how are you? You know, but we're not close again, okay? Like, we were in primary school. But that was the only girl that I could say was my friend trapped, you know, the rest of my primary school years. And one boy or so. Yeah, but I was pretty much a loner then. I don't know. So, next thing, I feel all these things are what shaped my life into becoming the loner that I finally became. So, yeah, I just remember the story. I said, let me tell you guys this story before I now go and film the Q&A, okay? Because the, the video I wanted to film was the Q&A about friendships. I think that's why I remember this story about friendships, about betrayal, about friends and all that. So, I'm going to film that video and that video is going to be up next week okay and that reminds me another thing that happened to me in primary school that's still stuck in my brain till tomorrow one morning i came to primary i came to school one morning and one girl just walked up to me and said um let me smell your mouth i was like i don't understand she said, let me smell your mouth and i opened my mouth she now smelled my mouth she now said what do you eat this morning i said i ate spaghetti i think it was spaghetti i ate that morning 
Yeah, I told her, yeah, I ate spaghetti. She said, it's a lie, you didn't eat spaghetti. It's a bun soup that you ate. <laughs> Okay, she now walked away. That how can you say you ate spaghetti? You didn't eat spaghetti. It's a ban soup that you ate. As if she walked up to me like from far. I was not like oh she was close to me and then smelled my mouth or something. She walked up to me from far and said, "Let me smell your mouth." I think you're trying to tell me that I can't eat spaghetti. I should. I'm kind of person that should be eating a ban. Oh, I don't. I don't know what the story was, but that's just to show you how crazy children can be. Children can act like you know. They like something's wrong with them and all these things are actually learned behaviors okay that is the part of why i forgave her is that now that i'm older i'm just like he must come from a really nasty family for her or maybe she doesn't maybe she doesn't maybe she just has one person in her family who influenced her like that but that's a very terrible behavior to have for a child i still have unanswered questions like those girls that came to accuse me of telling them why did they do it was it that they were friends with Edith, or is it that they just felt like feeling among or what who went and told because initially what me i was thinking was that maybe somebody maybe Edith told somebody the person now went and told you know the people and then the people now confronted Edith, and then Edith now came and said i was the one that told her so um i was thinking that was the story is either that's what happened or i was outrightly set up for no reason anyway whatever the case is um i'm fine now but i'm just trying to tell you guys that women and men young and old are both equally capable of immense wickedness of evil <laughs> evil yeah let me end this video here thank you guys so much for watching if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys Mwah.